some of the bigger challenges that are, are facing the buy and sell side across CTV and really across the media landscape in general, you know, I think you could kind of boil it into two things. So, so one, I would look at it as an issue that's been going on for a long time, which is how do we uh, help planners and buyers buy across the entirety of, of their stack? So not necessarily just programmatic, but if you think about programmatic, both in video and in display, but then also linear TV, um, you know, out of home, all of these things have really great houses to buy individually, but a single point of execution where you can go and buy across these things is still something that we haven't quite achieved, right? Sort of that panacea. Um, and I think as sort of a sub point to that, if you think about the interoperable or interoperability story and challenges that we sort of face specific to CTV, um, you know, whether that's, you know, the, the linear addressable linear VOD or, you know, sort of, you know, standard streaming services, uh, how we resolve across those things has been a challenge that we face as an industry for a long time. Um, each one of those channels is super important for a brand and an agency to be able to access very relevant audience. Um, but resolving that audience can be difficult. Resolving the impact of each of those challenges can be very difficult. So, you know, I think what we're trying to do at Beachfront is lean into the concept that a lot of those traditional challenges are not going away. Um, and they're still just as relevant as they were, you know, 10 years ago. Um, so trying to bring them into the fold and make it easier to execute against them, easier to quantify who those users are, um, create more uh, transparency for our brand and agency partners and our buy side partners downstream, which ultimately creates value for the publishers. Now, I wanted to ask you a bit about uh, CTV publishers. There's often a perceived trade-off between achieving re revenue objectives and a high quality viewer ad experience. Have you, have you observed that? And how can CTV publishers effectively deliver on both? Yeah, uh, this, uh, absolutely, Rob. I think this is, this is a question we face every day, right? How do we make sure that we're doing what's in the best interest of our publishers um, while also preserving that user experience? And, and I guess uh, this might be the most obvious thing I can say, but it, it is the right thing to say is, uh, it's really where those two purposes converge. That's the value proposition, right? So um, we find that we're able to drive the best yield for our publisher partners when we are creating the best user experience. Um, and if you think about, you know, certain things, right? We we look about we look at things like fill rate and our ability to fill inventory, but. That's all predicated on the fact that somebody stays and continues through that ad pod, right? And how do we create the best probability for that? I think a lot of it has to do with things like competitive separation or creative redundancy or create creative frequency across an ad pod or across a program, right? Uh, you've probably had an experience yourself where you're watching something and you're you know, you're you're watching a program and by the end of the program you've seen the same ad ten times. Well, you know, by the time you get to the third or fourth one of those scenarios, you might just change the channel, right? And so. Uh, when we talk to our publisher partners, a lot of what we're talking to them about is, yes, we want to maximize yield, but, you know, for you by delivering creative, but I think we have to preserve a quality user experience, the right hand shakes the left. And in trying to tackle those issues, there, ha there have been new standards for CTV advertising that were introduced recently, covering things like program level metadata and potted bidding. Can you tell us a bit more about why those are important and what role they play in CTV media buying and selling? Absolutely. So, you know, there's a couple of things that have kind of come out, especially uh, recently in the RTB 2.6 spec. Uh, and that deals a lot with potted bidding, uh, as you mentioned. But I think what's really exciting about that is, you know, we've talked a lot about how do we make CTV behave similar to, you know, linear TV and traditional TV. It's funny. You know, we look at some of the way that linear TV is transacted and we think it's really antiquated, but it's always worked. It's always been consistent and they have ways to monetize certain things within a pod that haven't been available in CTV. Right. So A and Z positions or, you know, what is what are we allowed to be fluid and dynamic versus what are we calling static? Um, so things like that create this a really interesting opportunity to, to improve yield, but also um, to create more visibility downstream to the demand partners on what you're actually buying in the pot, right? Um, you know, when you're transacting programmatically, knowing what's A or what Z position, the, those bookends that have always been more valuable hasn't really been possible um, or has been inconsistent, I would say. So this is a real opportunity with 2.6. And then, you know, you mentioned the metadata and the content object, you know, as you know, my former life, I was buying media um, from a per performance DSP video company. Um, and we were always looking for what signals were coming downstream to us that we could use to make better informed decisions on the user. We know that it isn't just user alone that drives highest conversion propensity, 
where it's adding, or where, where the ad is running or what content it's around matters immensely. Uh, and so the more we can send downstream, the more informed the DSPs that buy from us can be on what they're buying and those users. Uh, and it's really, you know, it's a synergy that kind of, it's a rising tide that floats all boats, so to speak. So, you know, we're really excited about both of those things. Obviously, the content object continues to get adopted and 2.6 is, is, is in its early days, but really excited about what that looks like in the future. Well, that brings me to my final quest, question. As far as what you see happening in the future, is there anything that's uh, changing in media sales uh, for CTV? Uh, do you have any big predictions or perhaps anything that's on your wish list for the coming year? Yeah, I, I think, you know, in, in terms of changes that we're seeing, uh, you know, from a sell side perspective, we talked a little bit about pod bidding and, and what that means. I think in general, that unified decisioning layer uh, for publishers continues to get smarter. The way that they're managing um, what, what's going out programmatically versus what they're selling directly um, is getting more and more intelligent. It's not new. It's been around. But I think how we can how finally we can slice things um, from a reporting perspective is getting better and better. And then ultimately, where it really matters, where the rubber meets the road is how you translate what, what's in that insight into action, right? So things like that 2.6 pod bidding spec are really gonna help us take some of the things that we see and then activate them and action them on behalf of our publishers or help them activate them on their on their own stead. So really excited about that. And, and I think that that's a, that's a great innovation that's coming down, down the line. Um, in terms of wish lists, you know, or, or big picture, you know, big, big prediction, um, you know, it might, it might be, uh, it might be too much of a, an easy thing for me to say working at Beachfront, but I do think that, you know, that interoperable story has been something that's been so focused on, not just by us, but by everybody in the landscape for so long. Um, and we haven't really seen a scenario where somebody goes in and executes um, both a, you know, a, a traditional programmatic, you know, or sorry, I should just say programmatic buy alongside a traditional linear buy or, you know, more linear, traditional linear channels like VOD. Um, I do think that this is the year. I think we're going to see people have an opportunity to go in and, and buy or activate against both of those supply sources or all of those supply sources to a larger degree than we ever have. Um, and I think that's really exciting because, you know, I, I mentioned this earlier, but every one of those impressions is just as valuable for a brand, right? It's still a person on the other end of it and the best experience you can ask for on a television. Um, it just, you know, prior to wasn't, you couldn't get to those people as easily, right? You had to uh, find different ways to reach them. So one point of activation um, where you can just go in and get all those users in one spot is, is, is on the horizon. And, you know, it's something that we are really passionate about at Beachfront. 